perfect example of turning hardship into hardiness there. Now, our next story is about an international business traveler who's created a mobility aid for the blind while being visually impaired herself. When I lost my sight, my biggest fear was losing my independence. When I was 11 years old, I hit my left eye on the side of a swimming pool. After that, I gradually lost my sight. And by the age of 14, I was totally blind. Chieko Asakawa is a computer scientist for IBM. She divides her time between the U.S. and Japan, traveling halfway across the globe and back on a monthly basis. I never relax when I travel alone. Being blind means cross-continental transit is no mean feat. If I didn't focus, I can easily miss my location. We always have to pay attention to our surrounding world. If there is a step in front of us or if there is an escalator, elevator, which is why an artificial intelligence suitcase can become the essential travel companion. Smart suitcase is a navigational robot which will help my mobility and which will help me more independent. It will help us avoid any obstacle while walking in a city. Packed with cameras and sensors, much like the technology on board an autonomous car, Asakawa's suitcase is a joint project between Carnegie Mellon University and IBM. This camera will calculate distance between myself and the target of the home. And this is a, a 3D laser sensor. And we do the office and run. Okay. Once a destination is programmed, the suitcase maps the best route and then steers its users with vibrations on the suitcase handle. Well, it, it sounds like compared to the white cane or a guide dog, that the smart suitcase yeah. is a total game changer. Yeah. Yes. Yes. First, I feel the smart suitcase will completely open up a new world for the degree of people. I don't have to ask for any help. I don't feel any stress at all. I feel I can be independent. I can even feel I enjoy window shopping by myself. Determined not to let her accident define her, Asakawa has spent a lifetime devoted to making the world more accessible. She has developed numerous assistive technologies for the visually impaired, earning herself industry and government awards, such as being inducted into the U.S. National Inventors Hall of Fame in 2019. What are your hopes for the future with the smart suitcase? You know, how do you think it's going to evolve as you continue to develop it? I know that the sensors and mechanical parts are getting smaller and powerful. So first, I want to make it lighter and smaller so that I can take the smart suitcase anywhere in the city or when I travel. Thank you. 
is about to return to war. A decade on from three tours in Iraq and four in Afghanistan, this time his front line is a virtual battlefield. We start to feel like we're there, and then you see, like, or I physically saw, right, how I remember this. In my mind, I could see my guy getting ready to shoot at us, and it's so intense. This is Brave a virtual reality exposure therapy program designed by psychologist Albert Rizzo to treat various forms of post traumatic stress disorder. How traumatic is it? for a patient to face these painful memories head on, to relive them through brave mind. When you tell people about it initially, they say, why would you make somebody go back and confront these horrific experiences that they had? Well, we do it because the science shows that this is an effective approach, that helping a person to confront and reprocess difficult emotional memories, but in a safe place, getting them to talk about things they haven't talked about.